happy holidays guys happy christmas eve if this video goes up on christmas eve this is my last christmas look i guess from here on out it'll be new years and blah 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 and whatever you know my heart desires but today i wanted to do a look uh, with the melt and y'all know i love melt this one is the haystack but the haystack looks like this it's super pretty but it's all shimmers so y'all know i'm mixing bronze. wait there it is mothership sublime bronze temptation I'm gonna mix it with this palette and everybody knows what this palette looks like it's by Pat McGrath so I'm gonna go ahead and put that primer on my lids and I'm gonna put it on with my finger do you see how oily my lids are if I didn't use anything and just went in with straight eyeshadow my eyeshadow wouldn't last so I have to use a primer or a concealer or something to kind of give the shadows something to stick to other than oil so this primer as I stated before it's kind of sticky which I like about it I do like that about it all right so it's on there it's blended out enough for me I think So first I'm going to go into, and I probably just could have used this for that purpose as well. First I'm going to go into the, what did I say this was? Bronze, in, Bronze Temptation Palette. And I'm going to go in with the lighter matte shade. Which, this doesn't fold all the way back. But I'm going to go in with that shade. So I wanted to do something like super creative, but you know you be having stuff in your mind, and once you start to get on them eyes, it'd be something different. Go with the flow. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to put a little bit of that base on the back of my hand, not much, and you can do this with concealer. I don't know how this look is going to turn out. I have a vision in my head. I'm gonna start working this shade from the haystack. It is called Haze. And it's a real pretty shimmery red. And I'm just gonna build this up and place it over where we carved out and I'm just taking my time we're doing an extra AF holiday look extra AF traditional color holiday look so I'm going to go into this silver in this haystack and it's called Indica And this is another Delium Tools brush. This is the 542 bowl lip. So I'm just gonna pack that little silver on. Cause that's what you're supposed to do, I think. And I'm literally like tapping. How did I get in silver? I said I was doing red and green and gold. Oh well. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of gold. Maybe I should put gold in between the red and silver. 
and I, this goal is called ganja yeah melt we know where your head is at there we go and now we're gonna go into our last but not least color which is green and for this color I, yes I'm going in my milk my milk my melt smoke sex my melt smoke sessions palette and I'm gonna take this shade mean green because it's a when I look at this green I think about Dr. Seuss I don't know why green eggs in here maybe Concealer is the magic eraser of makeup. And I feel foolish. I feel foolish. But, you know, anything that is not working out, all you got to do is add lashes. So I'm going to deepen up around that edge some more. Okay, and now that I have shadow all over my face, I am going to come back with some liner and lashes and we'll finish the look. So I'll be right back. No, I don't expect to be taken seriously wearing this look. I did it solely for entertainment purposes for myself. So I have my concealer on marinating per use. And I added lashes. I added these V Lux lashes. They are they are beauty supply store lashes. You can't really see it because the packaging is like silver. But whenever I do a look that's in my opinion a little bit extra, I like to use a heavier lash. Yeah, because lashes make everything wearable. And if you it's not wearable, put a big lash on and that'll fix the problem. And I'm gonna take out my Laura Mercier Mini, which is almost gone. I need to fill it up from out of my big jaw. And I tap my powders down because most of my, well, my favorite powders are on their last leg. I do have backups for my favorite powders, but I'm going to use the rest that's in the jug. I like a yellow powder because a lot of, not everybody, but a lot of darker skinned people, their undertone is yellow or yellow golden or olive. But the Sasha Buttercup, the yellow that it is, is perfect for most deeper skin tones. I think that flower powder would be good for a lighter skin tone, I think. Now, I've seen, and which made me purchase it, YouTube made me buy it, people with deeper skin tone use it. And I will say, it didn't come out bad. It looked good, just didn't like too much the way it felt now this powder to me this this powder is softer than the beauty bakery powder like I said the beauty bakery powder I think would be perfect for me in the summertime because I perspire in my face so bad and it it sucked up like all the oil instantly and I know I look crazy right now but you gotta trust the process. It's a process. Now those two foundations together, I don't, I really don't set the foundation itself, but like as much powder as I have all over my face, it's getting set. 
and this is the Becca Maui Night Sunlit Bronzer. And I always say this is on the red side, <clears throat> but I do like it. I don't want to be too red, but sometimes I don't mind that extra, you know, basically sun kiss. I want a ready blush, so I'm going to use um, Milani's red vino blush which i'm sure everybody knows what this looks like but it's super pretty it's brown girl friendly and i like milani's blushes this is not the brush. i like milani's blushes and it has like a gold like vein running through it so it gives you a little bit of shimmer as well as a blush shade now i'm gonna highlight and I'm going to use my Becca Chocolate Geode just because it's gold and it goes with the theme that we are working with today. And she looks like this. And then I'm gonna go in with the extreme. And the reason why I'm layering uh, mascara is because I want my lashes to look a little bit more wispy than they are. I have struggle lashes, so I have to struggle with them. We in this together. I just want to buff and then I'm gonna set. I'm gonna buff using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder. But I like to buff to basically soften everything up. Like it blurs pores if you struggle with pores. It just softens. If you put too much blush or highlighter on, just take it over it and it softens everything out. And it looks beautiful in photos. I'm gonna take Max Cherry Lip Liner. And I filled my lips in quite a bit with this cherry lip liner. Look how little it is. But I'm going to use it to the end. And I'm going to use... I filled it in most of the way because I knew I wanted to use a liquid lip. And I'm using a liquid lip because if you are, for some reason, creating recreating this look, it is a holiday look. And you might be going to a party. So you want a lippy that's going to last. So I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's stunner lip paint in the shade uncensored which is the first one she came out with and there you have it i like this lippy because it's super comfortable super comfortable it transfers a little bit but it does last and that's what i like about it that it's comfortable but it's a liquid lipstick we need an inner corner highlight yep we do it's just only right so I'm gonna take, use your highlighter. It doesn't matter. I just have this sitting here, so this is what I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna put this on my inner corner. This is Ofra, Ofra Blind the Haters, and it is super blinding. There we go. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it put you in the Christmas spirit. If you weren't, I enjoy doing it. Cut that light out. We'll turn it down because, you know, the lights will wash you out. But thanks for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Come hang out with us. We do a lot of fun things on this channel. And give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays. I hope you are having a happy and a safe holiday.